New fiction books are here. Let's look inside these together. I am so excited about this new series, School of Monsters. It's by Sally Rippon, and you may be familiar with her from our Hey Jack books or our Billy B. Brown books. Before your kids are reading on their own, you can obviously read these sweet stories together. As your kids get a little older, you can read the black text and your child can read the blue text at the end of the page. And they're gonna notice that these words rhyme. Then as your child gets a little older, they can read all of the words on the page by themselves. I love that in the back of the book, it has new words to learn. And it's gonna tell your children to start with the words in green first, like at and bat. And then for the next level, they can read all of these orange words, like way and two. Then as they become more confident, they can read the words in red. In the back of the book, it's gonna tell you how to use this book as a parent. And it also has instructions to help your child draw the characters in the book. Your child is going to want to read all of these, so you should definitely check out this fun series. Table Manners for Tigers is a great way to talk to your children about table manners. This book has adorable illustrations and charming rhymes. In the book, the tigers come to dinner, but they don't have the best manners. They gurgled and they guzzled, they chortled till they spat. They drank straight from the milk jug, then used it as a hat. The host and guest are obviously appalled at the tiger's manners, and so they suggest that Tiger and his friends go to Miss Molly's School of Manners. There, the tigers learn proper table manners. This is perfect for starting conversations with your children about how they're expected to behave at the table. At the end of the story, the tigers host their own party and they show their friends their brand new manners. If you have children reading chapter books, I've got some new books that I wanna show you. Olivia's Secret Scribbles is a really fun series that we offer and there are some new books in this series. So I wanted to show you th these today, whether you already know and love Olivia or whether you're looking for some new fun books for your children to read. These books are written in a diary format they have illustrations throughout the book, and these are recommended for children six to nine years old. So that will help you understand the level that they're written on. Um, these are super fun. And in the story, Olivia has an older sister named Ella, and Ella has her own series I'm about to show you, but I wanted to show you the Olivia book first. These are great beginning chapter books. Um, for children that have maybe just started reading chapter books and are looking for something a little longer than the Billy B. Brown series, I would recommend Olivia's Secret Scribble series next. Also, Olivia has a sister named Ella, and her Ella Diaries book is for children um, 9 to 11 years old. So this is kind of the next series up. And you can still see Olivia in Ella's books. These are written in diary format as well with illustrations throughout. They just have a little bit tougher vocabulary than the Olivia books. So these are really fun and there's several of these in this series. I wanna say 10 or 11. So if your child loves Ella Diaries, check out these new ones that just came out. This is one of those gold power um, in that fun series. Now, if your children loved Ella Diaries but they're looking for something a little bit more sophisticated, let me introduce you to Ella at Eden. This is a brand new series. Uh, this one's called New Girl, and Ella is the new girl at a boarding school. Now, this says Eden College. That's because Ella lives in Australia, and that's the name of her boarding school. She's not college age, so she's actually in year seven. And you'll notice as you look at these that this is just text on every page. So this is not like Ella Diaries with illustrations. This is for older readers, 11 to 14, that are looking for um, a fun new adventure with Ella and her sister, Olivia, um, now that Ella's grown up just a little bit. We've got two new sweet books about when parents go to work. This is when daddy goes to work, but we have when mommy goes to work too. And in this sweet book, you'll see daddy dropping off his little boy on his way to work and they're waving goodbye to each other and all throughout the day as the little boy is doing his activities with his class the daddy is thinking about the little boy so as the little boy is eating his snack the daddy's thinking about him while he eats his lunch and he says at last the clouds are clearing and I can feel the Sun but all I can think about is how's my little one so you're gonna hear rhyming text and you're gonna see the little boy getting to do fun things at school while the daddy's working, and he just keeps thinking about his little boy and how he's doing all day long. And of course, once he picks him up, he is so excited to see him and give him a big hug. The mother version is very similar to this one. 
We've got a brand new series with two new books. The first one is called Hapless Hero Henry. Henry is short for Henrietta. And Henry comes from a long line of hero males. Um, and so when her family goes missing and there's a mysterious note and she is the only one who can save the day, she has to step up and be the heroine. And so she's an unlikely hero, but she is a hero in this story. It's got a few illustrations here and there to make the story extra fun. But for the most part, this is mostly text. You're gonna follow Henry through the story as she tries to solve the mystery about her family and she's gonna discover what she's really made of. We've got a new set of board books for little ones called Veggie Squad and these books are really adorable. They would be a great way to get your children excited about vegetables. Included in this set are Sweet Corn, Super Crunch, Ollie Broccoli, and Agent Tomato. Let's take a peek inside one. Say hello to Agent Tomato. You might think you know her, but she's a master of disguise. When she's in ketchup mode, Agent Tomato is always standing by to make food even tastier. She's also trained to make you feel better using her super skills. These pages have little cutouts on them so that your child can feel different textures. They're really cute and these are super thick board books. I hope that you and your family enjoy these new books.